Grand Bahama Member of Parliament Peter Turnquest welcomed the amendment. Minister of State for Finance, the Honorable Michael Halkidis, in closing the debate, revealed that the issue of creating a compliance authority has already been discussed at the regional level. This, this clause is not one to be just glossed over. I think it is, it is a, a very significant clause because it hopefully repairs a breach in the original act that does not speak to the requirement for local agencies to be involved in any investigation that is going on within this territory. That is important, Mr. Speaker, because most investors who come to this jurisdiction depend upon the protection of the jurisdiction. This matter has been discussed at the CARICOM level where we've convened um, and met um, on this issue. The member from Arco City raised the point of the fact that if we're talking about risk, then there's a way to mitigate risk, and that is by having in place some form of insurance. That matter has been under discussion, and whether there can be some insurance purchased to mitigate that risk. Mm -hmm. The proposal to investigate setting up a bank that would be owned by countries that face this the risking problem, and um, so that within that structure you can have the um, de facto central um, compliance authority that.